we're going to look at Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus. Together they're known as the renal corpuscle. Bowman's capsule has two layers. It has a parietal layer made of simple squamous epithelial cells and a visceral layer that lays on top of the glomerular capillaries. This is also made of simple squamous epithelium. The capillary walls are also simple squamous epithelium. When the visceral layer adheres to the capillary, a filtration membrane is created. Now, blood entering into the glomerular capillary becomes pressurized and fluid escapes the blood, so this is fluid that was plasma at one time, escapes through these fused walls, through the filtration membrane. The membrane is going to prevent the passage of cells and large and medium sized proteins. The fluid now that escapes into Bowman's space is called filtrate. It contains waste products, but it also contains many useful products that the body needs to absorb back into blood. The body is going to need to absorb most of the water or it will become quickly dehydrated. Uh, glucose molecules, amino acid molecules, and many other substances, including minerals, do re-enter the body along the path that follows.